I'm on the ERT, which is an emergency response team. Uh, it's, uh, you can sign up for it, and if there's any kind of natural disaster, you know, hurricane or flood or something, then they will put together a team and send them out to that location. And uh, I had never been deployed before. And so, you know, this COVID-19 thing hit, and lo and behold, you know, you're going, you're going to New Jersey. First, I was in uh, the parking lot of MetLife Stadium <laughs> for a while. We were sitting there waiting for our orders, exactly where we would be stationed. So this is the place here. This is where I've been stationed. This is Elizabeth, New Jersey, uh, south of Newark. Uh, I've been told that this is actually not a fire station. It's a school, a high school, that's been sort of taken over by the fire department. So we can imagine the physical labor that goes into being an EMT, but what about the emotional or the psychological, especially when you know you're going into this, these areas where many people are potentially infected with the coronavirus? Yeah, um, it is physically demanding, but uh, beyond that, especially in New Jersey, um, I've never really been scared to do my job before, um, I think until this. It felt like the city of Elizabeth itself was sick. I don't know how else to put it, but there's just this thing in the air, it just it, this creeping presence in the community that was just, I don't know, it, creepy is the only word I can think of. There was one thing which I thought, which I just had to tell you about, which was we've got the, our station, which is the high school, and we've got our ambulances parked along one side and the uh, uh, Trinitas Hospital is right next to it. So the hospital is right there. So we park our ambulances along this alleyway and there's a fence and the hospital. Well, right on the other side of that fence is a refrigeration truck with bodies in it because the, uh, the morgue at Trinitas has overflowed. Uh, and so they have this refrigeration truck right there. So every time we'd have to run a call, we would get in our ambulance with the truck right there. You know, every time we went on a call, you just, you go by that, that uh, truck and it's, it definitely keeps things in perspective. You know, a lot of our calls are not necessarily serious, but you see that and uh, you know that there's a, you're there for a very serious reason, you know, and you should take it seriously. You saw a lot of the impact in New Jersey and we hear from people here in Arizona, well, it's not that bad and I don't really have too much to worry about. Yeah. Well, I think people have a tendency to sort of not take seriously something that hasn't affected them personally, you know, whether it be a, a virus or, or any other thing. Overall, I mean, if I had to give any kind of advice, I'd say listen to the scientists. Alex, I would imagine there were some light moments in New Jersey. You had never been there before. What was that all like? Uh, yeah, it, it was really cool being around people from all over the country because uh, the way that deployment worked is they were called from everywhere. I mean, all corners of the U.S. There was a lot of interesting food out there. I didn't realize, but it was this very like vibrant uh, immigrant community out there. And so there was all kinds of different kinds of cuisine, amazing Italian food. <laughs> Are you gonna write a book? Are you gonna do something to record this moment in your life, this very important chapter? You know, I had a, like a journal that I wrote in just on the advice of some friends. You know, they said, write about it, document it, you'll read it later. And uh, I've gone back and I've read some of the entries and <laughs> some of them are a little, uh, they're a little heavy. I didn't realize maybe how emotional I was when I wrote it, but I could probably fill a book. Do you think moving forward, uh, you'd be willing to do another tour like this? You know, I, I've, I've thought about that a lot because there is a very real possibility that it could happen again. So I was raring to go the first time. You know, I was apprehensive, but I really wanted to go out there again. It's dangerous, you know, and I have more to think about than just myself. I've got kids, I've got a family, you know, it's not just about me. And it's stressful, you know, just the toll that it takes on you emotionally and physically. It's, it's, it was hard. 
It's one of the hardest things that I've ever done. So I would definitely have to think about it. <laughs> I would have to think about going back.